What's going on plugins? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna talk about a new player that was just added to the BYU roster. Before we get into this video, make sure you drop a like. And if you're new here, sub to the channel and become a part of the family. Now let's get into the video. Going into the 2024-2025 season, we're entering the Kevin Young era for BYU basketball. And he was able to get some talented players on the roster for his first season. But the one thing he's been making a priority is getting international prospects on his roster. BYU assistant coach Will Void has a lot of international connections, and this has given BYU an advantage when it comes to recruiting these type of prospects. Kevin Young having Will and his coaching staff was looking like a smart move. He was able to get Yeager, who's a five-star 6'9 guard, ranked 16 by 24-7 sports. He's projected to be a first-round pick in the 2025 NBA draft, and he could end up leading the team in assists and being one of the top scorers on the team. He's going to be a matchup nightmare for opposing teams with his scoring and passing ability. Coaches are already saying he's a special player he's having a good all season so far i dropped the video about that on my channel make sure y'all check that out after this video the second international prospect kevin young was able to get was kadeem who's a 6-9 forward he played for nba africa academy kadeem's a stretch forward who can play multiple positions for byu he's a raw talent who can develop into a star he should be able to get some minutes during his freshman year and maybe become a starter he's going to be a threat scoring in the paint catching lobs and being a downhill scorer now kevin young who just added his third international prospect to the roster mihal who's a 6-9 forward who was a european professional basketball player announced he'll be playing for BYU this season. Mihalo, who's 22 years old, he won MVP for the FIBA Europe U20 tournament back in 2022. He was averaging 12.3 points, 6.6 .6 rebounds, and 2.1 assists. I wanted to show you a bunch of in-game footage of him playing, but it was hard to find clips on him, but he's a player who's going to bring a lot of experience and toughness to this BYU roster. He has been playing pro ball overseas against grown men. He'll give BYU depth at the power forward position. He can stretch the floor with his scoring ability, create his own shot, and he's a decent three-point shooter. He will also help BYU on defense with his height and long frame and with his athletic ability. He should have no problem being a rim protector and being the type of player who can guard multiple positions. He should be able to get some minutes during his freshman year. I'm not sure if he'll be able to push himself into the starting lineup. BYU was able to get two nice bigs from the transfer portal and they have some talented forwards in their 2024 recruiting class. But with all that, he should be able to get on the court this season and make an impact. Kevin can even give him minutes at center. So this is a player that BYU fans need to keep their eye on because he could make a huge impact for the team this season. So Kevin Young keeps getting elite international prospects. This might turn into the norm for him. If all these players he gets plays well and gets drafted to the NBA, he could end up getting top international prospects every season. He already has assistant coach and staff who has connections to help him get those type of players. Kevin Young just needs to develop the players and turn them to NBA draft picks. If he can do that, sky's the limit. BYU fans, how do y'all feel about Mihalo? Do you believe he'll make a big impact for BYU this season? Drop y'all opinions in the comments. Drop a like on the video and sub to the channel. Turn on post notifications so you know when I post. If y'all want more BYU videos, smash that like button. I appreciate y'all, and I'll see you in the next video. Till next time.